Hi, everybody. In this video, I'm going to explain how Reiki can be implemented into your into your healing business, whether it's, you know, you're already doing theta healing or another energy healing modality, maybe massage, um, maybe you're a nutrition coach. I work in a community with a lot of nutrition coaches as a nutrition coach myself. This video would totally be for you. Also, if you're doing any type of coaching, um, if you're doing any type of even perhaps, um, especially if you're self-employed and offer some sort of service to your clients, why it would be something to consider to have Reiki as an addition to support whatever you're offering, whatever service you're offering, whatever, even I work with a lot of network marketers how, how having Reiki as another healing modality as part of your network marketing business could, could supplement or improve your income um, and also provide more for, for the people that you're serving, for your audience, for your market. Um, my name is Valerie Hoganson. I'm a Reiki master practitioner. That is my goal these days. That is my mission these days is to help other business owners, other spiritual entrepreneurs, you know, really build and stabilize their habits, their, their heart, so that they can improve their productivity performance and just really have that discipline so that they're able to sustain, to sustain their conscious business, you know, really really my mission is to help people actually see and stay progressive with their business so that they can afford to stay in business. I see, uh, this is kind of going off on a rant, but I just see that there's like this struggle, the struggle that exists in our society where society has taught and indoctrinated people into thinking that they need to have a job to stay safe. And truly I want, business owners to, and people that have a spark of an idea to just actually implement it, like actually commit to it and, and do it and take, take what's in your heart and build a business, like generate energy around it, generate revenue so that you can live the life that you're meant to live, not just going to some nine to five, because that's what everybody else in your family is doing, or that's what everybody else in your peer group is doing, but because that's what you're here to do, you know, that's your calling, you know, that's your mission. So I think it would be helpful for you to hear my story. Um, so I just want to explain to you that, I mean, yes, I'm a Reiki healer now, and I also teach yoga, and I'm a nutrition coach, and I offer a program called Limitless, where um, I can utilize what I've learned to help other people totally become limitless anyways, but I wasn't always like that going back to like, how far back do you want to know? How much time do you have? This is worth, this is time worth spending to talk about is that I grew up on a dairy farm. My parents were business owners. They they farm, they use a lot of, they were very, very productive and progressive. They used a lot of the most conventional techniques in their farming practices. They were one of the best producing farms in the county and sometimes perhaps in the area or maybe even state. And they worked hard. They instilled in me waking up at 4 a.m. and just doing, doing a lot of hard work, which is great. However, I did not know that I, well, let's just put it this way. I really struggled with my energy levels since I was a young kid. I, I always woke up very tired and especially into my teenage years, into my early twenties, I had extremely rough back pain. Like when I say rough, I mean, I was 20 years old trying to milk these cows and my body was failing me. I was I was, I felt like my body was limiting me from milking faster. I was like, you know, like I have this hard work ethic. I just want to milk cows faster. I just want to get more done. Like if I can just do more, then I'll make more money. Then I'll be more productive. Then I'll be able to put my head down at the end of the night, knowing that I did every single thing I could to work as hard as possible 
to be the best that I could be. And I was, I couldn't do it because my body wasn't, was in pain, physically in pain. Mentally, I was pretty moderately okay with life. Like whatever. I just was all about the weekends and partying with my friends. So as far as that went, I was okay. So I thought at the time, anyway, um, I started getting into yoga because I found that yoga helped relieve the back pain. And, you know, at the time I just thought it was because of the poses. I thought it was like the stretching and the movement and the building of muscle and things like this. And really, I mean, yoga is such a spiritual practice. I just had no clue at the time that it was healing me inside out truly. Um, So I just stuck with it and I moved into a career where I was a manager and again, the pain and like just the fatigue, like mental, the mental clarity was not there. The, I remember waking up and I had my dream job at this large scale poultry operation. And I was like, this is my, this is what I wanted since I was in third grade. I wanted to be a chicken farmer. Like that is what I wanted. Judge me, whatever. Like that's what I wanted as a young kid. So I was working at that job, that career at age 22. And I was like, why am I still like, I'm doing, I did some yoga like at home, not a lot. Um, but I'm like, why am I still like low energy? Like, why are, why am I tired all the time? Like, why do I go home from work every day and need to sleep? Like, this doesn't seem, it doesn't seem healthy. It does. Something's wrong. Something's off. So I started, um, getting massage done, which is just the only thing my little 22 year old brain could figure out. I needed to do something. So massage seemed like the right answer. So I went to the masseuse and the masseuse, told me that chiropractic would be a great option for me because um, of what I do, repetitive motion, always on my feet, walking 10, 12, sometimes 18 miles in a day. You know, it'd be great to get an adjustment. It'll line up your spine and it'll make the neurons connect to your brain and things will be working more efficiently and like they're supposed to. I was like, great, cool. And the chiropractor referred me to a yoga class And I was amazed. I went to the yoga class consistently at least three times a week, minimum. And I just really seen myself like, like, man, I wish I could be a leader like my yoga teacher was. She was amazing. Shout out Karen Shulman. You're, you told me you're changing my life. Um, So I was like, yeah, this yoga business is like where it's at. Like I started seeing my, my performance at work improve. I was able to tie my shoes. Like I could bend over and easily tie my shoes. I could take my shoes on and off. I can put my socks on and off without like tipping over. You know how you put your socks on and you're like falling over one way or the other. I was getting stronger. I felt like yoga was really helping me. And I continued the journey and started working consistently with my chiropractor and he started referring me to books on nutrition. And I was like, cool. Like this nutrition stuff is like epic, like epic, epic, epic. Wow. I I remember the first time after reading one book about nutrition and how plant-based will help you have more energy and will heal your body your mind and your spirit. I'm like, cool. So I went to the grocery store, bought all these groceries. And I was like, yes, go, go me. I bought all these groceries, started eating them, putting it in my body. My skin started clearing up. I had even more energy. I'm like, wow, there's all these holistic things. What in the world? Why doesn't anybody, why didn't ever anybody ever tell me like here I was like growing up on a dairy farm, producing food for America. And I didn't realize the very food that the farm that I grew up on produced made a difference in people's energy level, made a difference in their mental clarity, their spiritual connections. Why didn't, why isn't this like known? Like, why didn't anybody tell me? (laughs) It made me a little bit mad. And moving forward from there, I, you know, being a part of these holistic communities around in Southern Indiana and um, my parents in Wisconsin, you know, I got tied up into a lot of other modalities and Reiki was presented to me and I took up the opportunity to receive Reiki healing. I laid down on that massage table. My practitioner gave me Reiki. I was healed. Like I was like, Whoa, this is epic, epic, epic. Like once again, boom, why is this not like, why is this like a secret? Like, I remember my mom calling me like, she's like, yeah, don't tell anybody, but I'm going to a Reiki healer. Like I'm getting supplements. Don't tell, don't tell my doctor. Like, like it was a secret. So uh, I was just really like, wow. Okay. 
I can't, it's just like the universe kept knocking on my door saying, hey, you know, do something, teach people about this, tell people. So I started, I had a lot of other things going on in my life. I had relationship issues. I had some like, and I had some struggles. I had depression and anxiety. I had, I was very insecure with who I was. And um, luckily I was tied into a network marketing company. One of my friends from college reached out to me and said, Hey, do you want to join Isogenics and build a business? Um, there's other yoga practitioners and like people in holistic healing and we're helping other people spread this word with nutrition. I'm like, dude, this sounds exactly like where my soul needs to be. So I like, so I dropped, um, a lot of my toxic behavior and went all in on my business with isogenics recruiting over 50 people over the course of a short amount of time which is pretty good i feel like considering i had 0.0, .0 marketing experience i was just like i just knew that i wanted to start my own business and make money and help people and spread this message about about holistic health and i could use network marketing as a vehicle to get me there and in the meantime, I started taking on a little more Reiki clients. I started teaching yoga once a week in a local gym. And eventually one thing led to the no another. After a year and a half, two years of doing that, I decided to go all in and start my own business, leave my, cor leave my corporate job at the chicken farm to pursue my holistic wellness business, which I named everything holistic. And um, do Reiki, teach yoga, do nutrition coaching. So I did that for about a year and a half. And I just took on clients, you know, personal training, yoga, um, the nutrition, I could kind of help people with isogenics, offering supplements and things, and then teaching six yoga classes a week locally. And then during COVID, I was able to transfer a lot of those clients um, into remote so I could do through Zoom. And then um, yeah, so I taught yoga on Zoom and then I did a lot of remote Reiki healing too because energy exists. So wherever we call Reiki to go, it will go wherever we tell it to go. Um, but there is a point to where I was burnt out. Like I was burning out my body, my mind and my soul by taking on all these different endeavors. I felt like I had my hands everywhere. And I was like, hmm, okay this isn't ideal. What can I do? I had somebody reach out to me. His name is Zane Cole. Like, you know how you get like people sending you messages on Facebook saying, Hey, I have a, pr a program that's for business owners. They're going to, it's to, you know, help you scale your business and like how you can take your service-based business into a six figure a year income. And I'm like, I'm like, that's exactly where I want to be. I'm not there at all, but sure, why not? Well, what do you got? What do you got, Zane Cole? Tell me all about this thing. So what I learned from Zane is that I can create a transformational offer that offer that incorporates a program to help people in in the in the best way, where I can take clients that are really committed to healing from, you know you know, it's like I'm giving them all the tools and resources that they're going to need to get limitless is the program that I offer now. So I, so I incorporated all of those together, um, for this, for this offer. And I've started working with people as a nutrition coach, a holistic nutrition coach, um, through macro missionary, I'm certified as a holistic coach through IU school of medicine and have that offering available where, that was, I was able to really channel my energy towards that. And, you know, now that's what I offer. And that's my main offering. I focus most of my time, energy and, and effort on that program and those clients. Um, I still, however, do within that program, I offer the attunement and the attunement for Reiki is where you can learn and have the ability to give and receive, to, to give Reiki remotely and in person for the rest of your life. So that that's something that I'm offering to you guys is, you know, maybe you're not interested in my transformational limitless offering. It's my signature program. However, you're interested in adding this modality to your existing business. This might be something for you to look into. Um, I would definitely encourage you if you're feeling drawn and called towards Reiki, if you've had Reiki done by me or you've had it done by somebody in the past and you want to add it to 
your current service or um, client-based business that this attunement would be totally, totally for you. I, I have it done in such a way that it's, it's, it's a lot quicker than I used to do it. It's a lot more easy, uh, more hands-on learning than ever before. I'm really excited about this, this next one I have coming up. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. But I'll, I'll put the link below where you can sign up or get more details about the attunement that I have coming up. And, you know, this definitely would be a course for somebody that has a weekend to commit. Like if you don't have a weekend to like really learn the, the techniques hands on, this wouldn't be for you. Um, this definitely is for you. Like I said, if you're a client based business and you, you know, you work with clients on some sort of coaching level, but you want to get to the root of the problem with your clients, but you don't know where the block is. Reiki goes to the block and you don't even have to know about what it is or what it is. Like Reiki will, will get to the root of the issue. Yeah. Like me, I thought I had back pain. Well, that back pain stems from shame and lack of self-worth. And it had so many other ties, you know, like beyond just nutrition or my posture, like there was deeper rooted things that Reiki, I know for sure has helped me heal through. And I didn't even realize it. So yes, I am set. I'm finishing and closing the registration for this attunement coming up um, by midnight Friday, July the 16th. So go ahead and check out, sign up. Um, check out details in the comments below. And thank you so much for watching. If you know somebody else that could, you know, is starting a business or currently working through, you know, adding more value to their service or product business, definitely share this to them. I'm, like I said, trying to help as many people as humanly possible learn and know about holistic health. And it takes, takes us leaders, you leader to to really do that. So thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.